Anything hanging freely from two ends forms what we call a catenary. Imagine you were inserted into a catenary. There you are, holding on. Now, what would you feel? If you let go of one side, what would be the direction of movement? So, as you hold on, you feel yourself being pulled in opposite directions. You feel tension. Now, this is true of wherever you might be inserted. Furthermore, that tension you feel is always directed in line within the catenary. Build a catenary out of solid material, then turn it upside down, and you have what we call an arch. The forces are no longer that of tension, but of compression. Key is that those compressive forces are directed in line within the catenary. The structure thus becomes self-supporting. No external support needed. The St. Louis Gateway Arch is an inverted catenary. Check out these catenaries built in the Budapest train station. Architects and engineers make good use of catenaries. Rotate an arch in three dimensions, and you sweep out the shape of a dome that can shelter large areas with support occurring only along the edges. Good energy. Mm-hmm.